Yo, what's going on? Um, I don't even know how to start, so I'm going to just say it. Uh, so it has been a month. I, I look away, I look back, it's been a month. Uh, it does not feel like it's been a month since I've posted. I, like, I, I swear, it's like I looked away, I look back, I haven't posted. Bam. What? Why? What the heck, man? I noticed when I was like three weeks off, and the only reason I'm talking about it specifically is because when I was editing a video, I was thinking about like, why am I editing this? Or at least editing this this way. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I started thinking about it. I started analyzing the way I'm editing and stuff. And I just don't like the way that I'm editing. Um, it feels like it can be better. And of course, you can always critique your, you know, whatever you're doing to you know, figure out how to improve and stuff, but sometimes I just feel like it's not, it's not me, you know what I'm saying, uh, and speaking about what's also not me, I don't know if you, a lot of you guys know what this is, you're like children, right, uh, even if you're not children, you know, or a little bit older, um, I would say it's called, it's called color switching, right, code switching, it's like when you're at work, you have this professional etiquette, you have this way you speak and you pronounce, like, pronounce your words and etc., right, and then you have when you get home, you just chill, you lay back, you, you know, you, you, you say stuff at home that you wouldn't say at work. That's pretty much color switch, code switching, right? And I feel like I subconsciously do that as I'm recording because uh, I look at my videos and it's just me. What's up, guys? Him, 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 him. Who, who, who? What the heck? What the heck? Who? Okay. Uh, all of that. All of those cold words, keyframes, that's like, whenever I edit, that's all I hear. And nine times out of ten, if you don't hear it, it's because I cringe and I take it out, right? But that's not the, uh, well, well that is kind of the, the point of this. I have two videos that are out, I mean, two videos that um, I recorded. It's Resident Evil, it doesn't have a camera, and, because the camera sucks. And then it is me playing three random games. If I do this correctly, this video is going to come out the same day as three random games, but it's going to come out before. So maybe if this one comes out before, the three random games can come out maybe like an hour, hour and a half later. Um, but the point of this is just saying, like, after those two, I'm going to just, I got to be me, man. Like, it, like, and of course, like, I don't know. Of course, y'all not in my face saying, oh, yeah, you know, you just don't feel authentic. But I don't feel authentic. Right. And honestly, this is just me. Like, this is just the process, my thought process, how I feel about my editing and how, the way that I uh, act. So, yeah, no, that's it. I'm going to start trying to be a little more me-ish, you know? Like, it's. I think, like, it's weird because um, I put on this front. Like, all YouTubers put on this front, right? But it's like, I feel like my front is not even me. It's another persona, so of the off chance that people don't like me. I can have this facade so people never know me in the first place. But at the same time, if it doesn't feel authentic recording it, it's not going to feel authentic watching it. So I feel like I should, it's, it's something I got to work on. It's something I got to do better. Also, no, I've been studying some Japanese. Um, I just been taking it day by day. I am trying to figure out a style of editing, especially for video games, because I love video games, but the way I was recording Resident Evil, I was recording every day, right? Um, and usually that's not an issue. There, I imagine there are people that record every day, but no. I would record maybe an hour, an hour and a half. I would edit it, and then I would add the memes and all that stuff, and I would post it. Like I, So there were just days. There was like a week straight where it was like consistent Resident Evil, and I was, I was posting every other day. And... Um, that's something that you kind of got to build a tolerance for. Uh, I wasn't built for the task, uh, at least at that point in time. Um, I like the editing style of my longer videos with, like, not a lot of memes. Because, like, if I add too many memes, it'll throw off the story. I don't even know what to say here, but um, I still want to work on it. I still want to get better at it. It's just such a struggle, especially when you're first starting off. Um, because I also feel like it's something that I really, really want for myself. Um, because you either you either graduate to work a nine to five or you graduate go to college for four plus years and then still work a nine to five life it, it's inevitable work is inevitable um but if there's an opportunity that's presented to me that's a way out something that i can do where i can let my nothing but my creative energy flow and i can be my own boss that's what i want to you know um try my hand at that's what i i'm willing to i'm willing to take that risk for my life because the the risk is the reward is higher than like the the risk so like high risk high reward 
kind of deal. And usually, uh, I, I used to have videos where I would sit and talk to you guys, but um, I haven't done it recently. It's just like sometimes sitting down and editing is so much, especially since I critique myself so much. I'm in my head so much, especially about my editing. It's like I feel like I'm trying to be somebody that I'm not. And it gets to that point where it's like, well, who am I? And it's like, I need to figure that out on my own. And while figuring that out on my own, I need to portray it and put it into my editing. But it, that's still tough. That's still really tough, dude. And it's all, I think it's all a life thing as well. Like, there are going to be points in time where you struggle. There's going to be points in time where you don't know if you being you is the right thing to do or to, I don't, to cold switch. Uh, but... I do want to say for anybody watching, if, if you feel like you're going through the situation, the, obviously the, the, the right answer, the right choice is to just be you, to do you, to be 100% confident in yourself no matter what. Sometimes I don't feel that confidence in myself, which is where this facade comes around. Like, uh, you ever seen a, a clip of me? Like, there's music going and then I try to rap on it. I don't know how to rap. I've never tried to rap once in my life. Why do I do it? Because I've seen it. And I just, I instead of trying to figure out my own thing, my brain automatically switches to this oh i'm just gonna do it because they do it it's funny when cory kenshin played uh what was that uh the the grocery store game right and he rapped to it i thought it was funny right i didn't think anything of it but you know that joint was trending on tiktok for like a week you know the sound was still going crazy and i'm like okay well uh, you know in my brain even though that was kind of new you still understand the concept like the way i'm coming from but it's like, that's one of those things where I got to like understand and realize I'm not Corey Kenshin. I'm not Jack Sepik. I'm not Markiplier. I'm not any of them. What they do is not going to work for me nine times out of 10. It's all so weird doing YouTube or it's weird doing anything in general because before you can start building, you have to have a solid foundation and you have to spend days, hours, months, years like building that foundation. So when you put that first block on there and you start to add on it, it won't fall under itself. But no, that's that's it though. Um, hopefully, I do this right, and that other video should be. I have a, another video coming out, um, and of course, I want to finish Resident Evil, but I want to do it right. Uh, I have to edit this other video. It doesn't have a camera, and that made me really um, not insecure, but it made me feel really I don't know about myself because I feel like if there's no camera, nobody will watch because you know who am I? You know what I'm saying? Um, I look at I do look at the views. Like there was a point like. It really does suck. Like, that, the first year of me doing YouTube was really good. And the second year, I could barely get 10 subscribers. And that really killed it for me. Like, it, it, it hurt seeing, like, it's like, is my content not good enough? Like, I used to post every day. And then I switched to every other day. And then I got to a point where it was, like, every three days. And then I just didn't post at all every twice a week. And I don't know. It, it was just, like, really demotivating. I just want to, like, I want to be able to do it for myself. Because I think it's fun. I enjoy doing it. I enjoy the editing process and stuff. But at the same time, it's like, I really want to build a future on it. And it's so hard to, like, have this mindset of, yeah, I'm just doing it for me. And you have this mindset of doing it for a career. Um, I don't know. That's probably why usually YouTubers are like, yeah, you know, you should, you know, don't look at it for the money and stuff at first. Just play games and have fun. Yeah, I play games and have fun. But let's be honest, everybody in the back of their head has that mindset of, yeah, you know, I, I want to at least see some money from it. And honestly, money's money money's not an issue. Um, but at the same time, it's like I'm 20 years old. Instead of going to college or anything like that, I'm dead ass in my mom's basement uh, with no job. And I don't know. It just feels like I'm not doing anything. And that's really demotivating. And it's like I, I can't even work an actual job because I have the flattest feet known to man. I can't stand for long. I'll get the pain and I'm like, I don't even know how to describe it. And insoles, if I could afford insoles, I would get them it's like such a iffy situation for me um and usually i mean it's my business so who cares right um but i i, I want to work on it i want to be able to look back at this video um and i want to be proud of myself and see the progress from where i at to you know from from right now to what i've become in the future so i think there's more of like for me than if, if anything and this is for like you guys to watch whenever you feel like you don't know where you're headed or you don't know where you're going um and maybe i'll try to do one of these once a week or at least once a month to talk and get my emotions out there and to think. see from um to really see the struggle from another person's perspective so i don't know but that's that's all it that's that's all i got today
so yeah no the other video should be out maybe like an hour hour and a half after this if not all good don't even sweat it don't trip it's gonna be out uh that's all i got uh i love you guys i'll see you later peace